J-Man, welcome to the J-Man Movie Buzz, here with today's movie reviews. Here we go. The first one is the first Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie. Have you ever seen these a quick synopsis? Hysterically funny, best-selling book comes to life in this smash hit family comedy. So, sorry, I'll click Sorry. Sorry about that. Here I go again. My first movie is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It's based on a book by Jeff Kinney and here's the synopsis. The hysterically funny best-selling book comes to life in this smash sheet family comedy. Greg Heffley is headed for big things, but first he has to survive the scariest, most humiliating experience of any kid's life. Middle school. That won't be easy, considering he is surrounded by hairy, freckled morons, wedgie-loving bullies, and a mouldy slice of cheese with nuclear cooties. That's Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Part 1. Here's the, key, here's the disc. The next one is a, the next one is a Al Pacino movie called 88 Minutes. And haven't seen any synopsis. Time is running out. In Seattle, the successful forensic psychiatrist and college professor Jack Graham is in evidence since he he is in evidence since he was responsible for the contamination of the serial killer John Forster, influencing the jury to sentence him to the death row. John accuses Jack of manipulating... No, John accuses Jack of manipulation. Manipulation. Indulging one witness and sister of one of his victims to testify against him. On the eve of John's execution, Jack receives a phone call telling him that he has only, only, telling him that he only has, he only has, he only has, oh, no, I'll start again, sorry, i read it again. In Seattle, the successful forensic psychiatrist and college professor, Jack Graham, is in evidence since he was responsible for the contamination of the serial killer John Foister, influencing the jury to sentence him to the death row. John accuses Jack of manipulation, indulging one witness and sister of one of his victims to testify against him. On the eve of John's execution, Jack receives a phone call telling him that he has only 88 minutes of life. While a killer is copyleth while a killer is copycatting John for killing women with the same modus operandi and is investigated by Seattle Slayer Task Force. With the support of his with the support of his former wife and associated Shirley Barnes the FBI agent and his friend Frank Parks and his form and his assistant Kim Cummings, Jack investigates some weird and problematic students. A security guard on of the campus and the woman with whom he had one night stand. That was eighty eight minutes. Is the disc? The next one is the second Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It's called Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. This is number two in the trilogy. Here's a synopsis. Greg Heffley, the kid who made Wimpy cool, is back in his eye splitting sequel based on the second installment of the best-selling book series. Having rid himself of the cheese touch, Greg enters the next grade 
with his confidence and friendships intact. On and on an eye and an eye on the new girl in town, Holly Hills. But at home, Grant is still at war with his older brother, Roderick. So their parents have handed down the toughest punishment imaginable, forcing the boys to spend quality time with each other. That was Diary of Rimby Kid, Roderick Rules. Sorry, I think it's a disc. Yeah. My next movie is a, my Zac Efron collection, starting with The Paperboy. If you haven't seen it, it's a synopsis. A sexually and radically charged film noir from Oscar nominated director Lee Daniels, Precious. The paperboy takes audiences deep into the backwaters of steamy 1960s South Florida. As investigative reporter Ward Jansen, Matthew McConaughey, Killer Joe, Magic Mike, and his partner Yardley Ackman, David Olio, Lincoln, The Help, chase a sensational career-making story with the help of Ward's younger brother Jack, Zach Efron, the lucky one, high school musical franchise and sultry death row groupie Charlotte Bless, Nicole Kidman, Rabbit Hole, The Hours. The pair tries to prove violent swamp dweller Hilary Van Welter, John Cusack, 2012, being John Malkovich, was framed for the murder of a corrupt local sheriff. Based on the property, best-selling novel by Pete Dexter, Maholland Falls, Rush. The paperboy peels back a sleepy small town's decades-old facade of southern gentility to reveal a quagmire of evil as dark as a Florida bayou. Is the disc? Sorry. My next Zac Efron movie is Hairspray. This is synopsis. Who's who behind the do? It's 1962. The 50s are out and change is in the air. Tracy Turnblad, a girl with big hair and an even bigger heart, has only one passion, dancing. Her dream is realised when she wins a spot on a local TV dance program, which is transformed overnight from from outsider to teen celebrity. Can a, but can a trendsetter in dance and fashion defeat the program's reigning princess, win the heartthrob Link Larkin, and integrate television without messing up her hairdo? That's hairspray. It's the disc. My next, my next Zac Efron movie is the first High School Musical Movie. His synopsis. The all-new smash hit Disney Channel original movie everyone is talking about is now available for the first time ever on DVD with never-before-seen bonus features that will rock your house. Troy Zac Efron, the popular captain of the basketball team, and Gabriella Vanessa Hudgens, the brainy and beautiful member of the academic club break all the rules of East High Society when they secretly audition for the leads in the school's musical. As they, as they reach for the stars and follow their dreams, everyone learns about acceptance, teamwork and being yourself. And it's all set to fun tunes and very cool dance moves. Featuring the hottest talent, High School Musical celebrates the power of music in its hip, entertaining, gotta get up and dance movie, or in all the excitement and the exclusive extras are available only on this encore edition DVD. That's High School Musical. Is the disc. My next movie is the second Zac Efron. My next Zac Efron one is High School Musical 2, the sequel to High School Musical. It's synopsis. 
Goodbye, classroom. Hello, summer. But for Troy, Gabriella, Chad and Taylor, this vacation is not... But for Troy, Gabriella, Chad and Taylor, this vacation is not a day at the beach. That's because they're all working at a country club founded by Ryan and Sharpay's family. And with the club's annual talent show right around the corner, Sharpay's, con Sharpay's competitive instincts are sizzling. She dumps Ryan as her singing partner and starts wooing Troy to join her on stage instead. Gabriella is less than thrilled that Troy has agreed to sing with Sharpay. How could he do that to her? Things are heating up on the lawns of high society. Will Troy and Gabriella realise that they're meant, for, meant to be? Or is it already too late for them to sing one last song together? That's High School Musical 2. Is the disc. My next movie is the finale to the High School Musical movie called High School Musical 3, Senior Year. It's time to celebrate as Disney's phenomenal High School Musical hits new heights in High School Musical 3, Senior Year. Fresh from the big screen, this motion picture extravaganza delivers non-stop non -stop entertainment from start to finish. It's almost graduation day for high school seniors Troy, Gabriella, Sharpay, Chad, Ryan and Taylor. And the thought of heading off in, di in separate directions after leaving East High has these wildcats thinking they need to do something they will remember forever. Together with the rest of the wildcats, they stage a spring musical, reflecting on reflecting their hopes and fears about the future and the, and their unforgettable experiences growing up together. But with graduation approaching and college plans in question, what will become of what will become of the dreams, romances and friendships of East High Senior Royal Cats? That's High School Musical Three Senior Year. Is the disc. My next movie is The Lorax, which features the voice talent of Zac Efron. His synopsis. The imaginative world of Dr. Seuss comes to life like never before in this visually spectacular adventure from the creators of Despicable Me. 12-year-old Ted will do anything to find a real-life truffula tree in order to impress the girl of his dreams. As he embarks on his journey, Ted discovers the incredible story of the Lorax, a grumpy but charming creature who speaks for the trees. Featuring the voice talents of Danny DeVito, Ed Helms, Zac Efron, Taylor Swift and Betty White, Dr. Seuss's The Lorax it's filled with hilarious fun for everyone. That's the Lord. That's Dr. Scissors the Lorax. Is the disc. My next, my second last Zac Efron one is Seventeen Again, which he done with Matthew Perry. It's a synopsis. First the review says, Being seventeen has never been so enticing. Guaranteed to lift your spirits, make you laugh and charm your socks off. This body switch comedy is wild, wacky and wonderful, says Louise Keller, urbancinephile.com. And, and the synopsis is, if you somehow had the chance, would you do your life over? 30-something Mike O'Donnell would. Then one mysteriously magical moment, Mike gets his chance. He's suddenly back at Hayden High where he is the star of the basketball team, a total hottie and a classmate to his own teenage kids, which gives Mike a chance to go from not-so-good dad to really cool friend. Zac Efron, Hairspray, the High School Musical Movies, and Matthew Perry, Friends, are 17 again, 
and fabulously funny as the younger and older might. In a good time, time warp comedy that proves the best year of your life is the one you're living right now. That's 17 again. It's a disc. My last Zac Efron movie is Charlie St. Cloud. It's a synopsis. The reviews are heartfelt and powerful. Rachel Smith, Fox TV. Charlie St. Cloud is a young man overcome by grief at the death of his younger brother. So much so that he takes a job, he takes a job as caretaker at, of the cemetery in which his brother is buried. Charlie has a special lasting bond with his brother though. As he can see him, Charlie meets up with his brother Sam each night to play catch and talk. Then a girl comes into Charlie's life and he must choose between keeping up promise he made to Sam or going after the girl he loves. Based on the, based on the acclaimed bestseller The Death and Life of Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood. That's it. That's Charlie St. Cloud. The disc. My next review is, my next movie is Starstruck with Sterling Knight and Danielle Campbell. This is a Disney Channel movie. It's synopsis. Experience the ultimate music sensation with the Starstruck Extended Edition. Featuring an exclusive Got to Believe extended music scene. Plus a rock along bonus feature and three full length music videos available only on Disney DVD. Get starstruck with hunky young pop star Christopher Wilde, Sterling Knight, as he gets tangled up through a chance meeting with small town girl Jessica Olsen, Danielle Campbell, and experience the hilarious adventure set against the backdrop of Hollywood. Your whole family will love this music-filled Disney original movie, complete with music videos and never-before-seen footage. You've got to believe in Starstruck. This the disc. My next review, my next movie is Mr. Popper's Penguins with Jim Carrey. The, the, family comedy, the family comedy you've been waiting for, says Jeans Wolf, GeneNewsOfHollywood.com. Chill out with the funniest family comedy of the year. Jim Carrey stars as Mr. Popper, a successful businessman who is clueless when it comes to the to the really important things in life, until he gets an until he gets an unexpected present, six adorable penguins, soon Popper's rebunctious roommates turn his swank New York apartment into a snowy winter wonderland, and the rest of his world upside down. This also has Angela Lansbury too. The disc. My next movie is That's My Boy. Was that with my next my next movie is That's My Boy with Adam Sandler. With Adam Sandler. Mm. No, the next one is That's My Boy with Adam Sandler, Andy Sandberg, Lady Mista. This is synopsis. Well, still in his teens, Donnie, Adam Sandler, father a son, Todd. Andy Sandberg and raised him as a single parent until Todd's 18th birthday. Now after not seeing each other for years, Todd's world comes crashing down on the eve of his wedding when an, un when an uninvited Donnie suddenly shows up. Trying, to, trying desperately to reconnect with his son, Donnie is now forced to deal with the repercussions of his bad parenting skills. Co-starring Lady Mister and featuring incredible cameos from a cavalcade of stars including Vanilla Ice, Susan Sarandon and James Kahn. That, 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 that's, 
That's the movie called That's My Boy. Mr. Disc. My next movie is I Love You Man with with Paul Rudd and Jason Segel. It's a synopsis. In I Love You Man, a comedy from John Hamburg, along came Polly, co-writer of Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers, Zoolander, Peter Clay, Peter Clavin, Paul Rudd, knocked up, the 40-year-old virgin, is a successful real estate agent who, upon getting engaged to the woman of his dream, Zoe, Zoe, the officer's Rashida Jones, discovers to his dismay and chagrin that he has no male friend close enough to serve as his best man. Peter, Peter merely sets out to rectify the situation, embarking on a series of bizarre and awkward mandates before meeting Sidney Fife, Jason Siegel, forgetting Sarah Marshall, a charming, opinionated man with whom he instantly bonds. But the closer the two men get, the more Peter's relationship with Zoe suffers ultimately forcing him to choose between his fiancée and his newfound bro in a story that comically explores what it truly means to be a friend. That's, that's I Love You Man. Mr. Disc. My second Paul Rudd movie is Our Idiot Brother, his synopsis. Paul Rudd stars in this witty and in, Paul Rudd stars in this witty and highly reliable Paul Rudd stars in this witty and highly reliable comedy about one family member who is always a little bit behind the curve. For sisters Miranda, Elizabeth Banks, Natalie Zoe Deschanel, and Liz, Emily Mortimer, that person is there. A big brother, Ned, an organic farmer whose willingness to trust humankind allows for an oddly trouble-free existence. Ned may be utterly lacking in common sense, but he is their brother. And after his girlfriend dumps him and boots him off the farm, his sisters must once again come to his rescue as Miranda, Natalie and Liz each take turns at housing Ned. Their brother's unfailing commitment to honesty creates more than a few messes in their comfortable routines. But after seeing life through Ned's optimistic perspective, his family comes to realise that maybe Ned isn't it that maybe Ned isn't such an idiot after all. That's our idiot brother. Mr. Disc. The next one is the five next one is the five year engagement with Emily Blunt and Jason Siegel. Synopsis. A charming comedy of errors in which love takes first prize, says Louise Keller, urban cinephile. The producer of Bridesmaids and the director of Forgetting Sarah Marshall return with a romantic comedy that begins when Ro the producer of Bridesmaids and the director of Forgetting Sarah Marshall return with a romantic comedy that begins when most end. Full of laughs and heartfelt moments, the five year engagement stars Jason Siegel, The Muppets, and Emily Blunt, The Devil Wears Prada. As a couple who just can't make it down the aisle. From career challenges to family pressure and a host of other obstacles, the couple try to plan the perfect wedding, but can their relationship survive the continuously prolonged engagement? That's the five year engagement. Here's the disc. The next one is. The Upside of Anger, Joan Allen and Kevin Costner, his synopsis. Stars Joan Allen from The Born Supremacy and Kevin Costner from Open Range have never shined brighter than they 
doing this fiercely funny story of a middle-aged housewife whose world comes crashing down when her husband unexpectedly disappears. Alone and struggling to cope with four headstrong daughters, Terry Wolfmeyer finds help and her finds help and hope in the most unexpected place. The busy next door neighbour who's well into a midlife crisis of his own. With pitch perfect performances from the entire cast that and sharp witting might find a sophisticated romantic comedy is one of the year's best and essential viewing if you enjoy films like Life as a House and Something's Gotta Give. That's, uh, that's, that's the upside of anger. Is the disc. The next movie is The First Sister Act. Here's the synopsis. Outrageous fun, says a, outrageous fun, says Associated Press. We leave all the fun, laughter and irresistible music of Sister Act. The inspired comedy hit that Pat pews everywhere. Whoopi Goldberg stars as a sassy low rent lounge singer forced to hide out from the mob in the last place anyone would ever look for her, a convent. While there, her event behaviour attracts a flock of faithful followers and turns the nuns non and turns the nuns turn their choir into a soulful chorus of Syrian singing sisters. But when the group earns rave reviews, her sudden her sudden celebrity jeopardizes her hidden identity. Harvey Keitel and Kathy and Jimmy join a heavenly cast in this habit forming comedy bursting with sixties Motown hits. The sister act. Is the disc. Then came Sister Act 2, his synopsis. Wonderful, says Good Morning America. A package of pure pleasure, says NBC TV Los Angeles. Everybody's favourite nun is back in the habit as Academy Award winner Whoopi Goldberg, Best Supporting Actress Ghost 1990, stirs up more laughs than ever before. This time Whoopi goes undercover as Sister Mary Clarence at a troubled inner city school. Equipped with a melody marching lesson plan, she brings the gift of laughter, the power of music and a touch of heavenly inspiration to the classroom. Before the streetwise students discover who she really is, experience the joys of higher education with this crowd pleasing favourite as Whoopi answers her calling once again and delivers her special brand and delivers her special brand of habit forming fun. That's Sister Act Two, back in the habit. Is the disc. The next one is another Zac Efron one. It's called The Lucky One with Taylor Schilling. Here's the synopsis. The most romantic movie of the year says Kylie Mare, made in Hollywood. An Iraq war veteran searches for the woman from a mysterious photo that he credits with saving his life during three tours of duty in his romantic drama updated from the book by Nicholas Sparks. U.S. Marine Sergeant Logan Thibault, Zach Efron, was serving his country overseas when he happened across a discarded photo of a beautiful woman. An inscription on the back read, keep safe. Yet the photo revealed no clues about either the subject or her whereabouts. Upon returning home to civilian life, Logan, Logan conducts his own research and discovers that the woman's name is Beth, Taylor Schilling, and that she cares for dogs at a small town kennel. Before long, Logan manages to get a job at the kennel and sets his sights on winning Beth's heart. But it won't be easy because Beth's past experiences have made her wary of relationships. 
Meanwhile, as Logan works to care, meanwhile, as Logan works to earn Beth's trust, a dark secret from her past threatens to derail his hope for a happy future together. That's the lucky one. Just the disc. The next one is the first Cab Rock movie, his synopsis, featuring Jonas Brothers and introducing Demi Lovato. When member Shane Gray, Joe Jonas, needs to counter his bad boy rocker image, he is sent by his fellow he is sent by his fellow band members Nate, Nick Jonas and Jason, Kevin Jonas, to the music camp as a guest instructor. There he meets camper Michi Torres, Demi Lovato, a teen girl with an extraordinary voice and a driving ambition to be a pop singer. But unfortunately she can only spend her summer at the expensive camp by helping her mom work in the mess hall to, between classes. When, she, when Shane overhears Michi singing from behind closed doors, he sets out to find the girl with the beautiful voice. That's the first camp rock. Here's the disc. Then came camp, then came camp rock 2, the final jam. Here's the synopsis. Get ready to rock with it. Get ready to rock with the biggest musical event of the year. Now in extended edition, with, with never before seen scenes and songs. Join Michi, Demi Lovato, Shane, Nate and Jason, Jonas Brothers and some brand new campers across the lake for two times the music, two times the dance moves and two times the fun in Camp Rock 2, the final jam. Michi can't wait to go back to Camp Rock and spend the summer making new music with her friends and with her friends and superstar Shane Gray. But the slick new camp across the lake, Camp Star, has drummed up some serious competition some serious competition featuring newcomers Luke. Matthew Mitchell Finley and Dana Chloe Bridges in a sensational battle of the bands with Camp Rock's future at stake. Will Camp Star's flashy production and over the top antics win out? Or will Camp Rockers prove that music, teamwork and spirit are what truly matter? That's Camp Rock 2, the final jam. Here's the disc. The next one is Mermaids, features Cher, the late Bob Hoskins, Winona Ryder, Christina Ricci. His synopsis. Mom is many things. Normal isn't one of them. Cher is magical and electric, the Hollywood reporter. Winona Ryder, enchanting and funny, the New York Times. And Christina Ricci, adorable and engaging, variety. In this hilarious and heartwarming portrait of a 1960s single parent family trying to adjust to each other's growing independence. Charlotte Ryder is an adolescent girl torn between her blossoming passions for handsome caretaker Michael Schofflin and her desire to be a nun, a tough calling for a girl who is Jewish. Complicating her already precarious teen angst is her little sister, Richie, a determined would-be swimmer she affectionately calls Fishhead, and their mother, Cher, a non-traditional sexy flamboyant woman who relocates them to a new town every time she causes a hint of scandal, which is often. But even as their personal styles clash, these three incredibly different individuals begins to see that nothing, not even a life-threatening tragedy, can tear apart the bonds of family. That's mermaids. Is the disc?
The next one is Letters to Juliet with Amanda Seyfried, Christopher Egan, Vanessa. Next one is Letters to Juliet with Amanda Seyfried, Christopher Egan, Vanessa Redgrave. Here's the synopsis. What if you had a second chance at what if you had a second chance to find true love? And synopsis is in Verona, Italy, the beautiful city where Romeo first met Juliet. There is a place where the heartbroken leave notes asking Juliet for her help. It is there that aspiring writer. It's there that inspiring writer Sophie finds a 50-year-old letter that will change her life forever. As she sets off on a romantic journey of the heart with the letter's author Claire, now a grandmother, and her handsome grandson, all three will discover that sometimes the greatest love story ever told is your own. Four stars, says I love, four stars. A lovely and irresistible tale of true love. Jeff Craig, 60 second preview. That's Letters to Juliet. Is the disc. The first, this, the, my first Christmas movie is Howard and Kumar Christmas. It's synopsis. Merrily outrageous over the top fun, says Owen Gleiberman Entertainment Weekly. It's synopsis. High holy days are here again, only a little higher and a lot less holy. After years of drifting apart, Harold and Kuma reunite when a prized Christmas tree accidentally goes up in smoke. Rather than come clean to his crazy laws, Harold opts to get dirty as he and Kuma embark on a dope holiday adventure to find the perfect replacement tree. On the way, the two find song, dance, and the true spirit of Christmas, as they might need, as the, and they just might meet a mythical figure, back from the dead, the one, the only, Neil Patrick Harris. That's held in humor, Christmas. It's a disc. My, 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 my last Christmas movie is Angel Sing with Harry Connick Jr. The synopsis. Christmas comes once a year, but the memories last a lifetime. As a child, Michael Walker wished every day would be Christmas. That is until a tragic accident crushed his holiday spirit. Thirty years later, Michael still can't muster any joy for the holidays. Despite encouragement from his playful wife and well-intentioned parents, but when his young son faces a tragedy, Michael need Michael need Michael needs to make amends with his past. A mysterious man named Nick gives Michael a gift and install and and installs in him the courage to find the joy that he lost. That's Angel Singh. Here's the disc. My next review is That Awkward Moment with Zac Efron. His synopsis. A fun, flirty film that couples and singles will enjoy. Jolene Benedict, Entertainment Spectrum. Every relationship has that so moment. For a guy like Jason, Zac Efron, that's where things always end. He's firmly committed to non-commitment. But the marriage of his friend Mikey, Michael B. Jordan, falls apart. Jason takes it as proof that the single life is for the better. To get Mikey back in the game, Jason lists him and drinking buddy Daniel, Miles Teller, to take a shared vow together. They'll stay single as long as humanly possible. Then along comes Ali, Imogen Poots. The unpredictable, unforgettable one-night hookup who changes all the rules. Despite all his instincts, Jason just can't let her go. And his status is about to get very complicated. That's th that awkward moment.
Is the disc. What's next? Next one is Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit, with Chris Pine, Kieran Knightley, Kevin Costner. This is directed by Kenneth Branagh. His synopsis. While working as a junior analyst for the CIA's covert intelligence office, Jack Ryan inadvertently uncovers evidence of an imminent terrorist attack. With no intelligence to verify his discovery, Ryan is promoted to field agent and sent to Moscow to continue his investigation, where he soon encounters Victor Cherin, an enigmatic businessman at the center of a plot to cripple the global economy. That's Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit. Is the disc. Next one is Three Days to Kill. It's synopsis. A dangerous international spy is determined to give up his high stakes life to finally build a closer relationship with his estranged wife and daughter, whom he's previously kept at arm's length to keep out of danger. But first, he must complete one last mission, if it even means juggling the two toughest assignments yet, hunting down the world's most ruthless terrorists and looking after his teenage daughter for the first time in ten years while his wife is out of town. That's three days to kill. The second last one is Vampire Academy, his synopsis. They suck at school. From the director of Mean Girls. One, two, three, four stars says BBC Films. One, two, three, four says Variety. One, two, three, four, five says Daily Telegraph. From the director of Mean Girls. I'll read you this. The story features a 17 year old Danfi. The story features a 17 year old Danfia, half human, half vampire, guardian in training, Rose Hathaway and a royal Maroi, the peaceful mortal vampire's best friend, Lessa, Dragomir, living discreetly within our world, and, in a, and had escaped from their boarding school, St. Vladimir's Academy, two years prior to the story. They are soon dragged back to the Academy and, and rediscovering the dangerous hierarchy within it, along with lies, rumours and secrets, Rose starts to form an attraction to her Russian Danfia mentor, Dmitry Belikov. That's Vampire Academy. Here's the disc. And the last one is Saving Mr. Banks with Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson, his synopsis. The reviews are absolutely brilliant. One of the year's best films, says Bill Schreker at Chicago Sun-Times. Where her book ended, their story began. The, in the last review, the two uh, last reviews, Emma Thompson is brilliant, Clear Pew, USA Today. Tom Hanks is a remarkable Walt Disney, says Drew Taylor, AOL, movie phone. And here's the, the story of it. Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson bring to life the untold true story about the origins of one of the most treasured Disney classics of all time. John Lee Hancock, The Blind Side, directs this acclaimed film which reveals the surprising backstory behind the making of Mary Poppins. Determined to fulfill a promise to his daughters, Walt Disney Hanks tries for 20 years to obtain the rights to author P.L. Travis's Thompson beloved book. Armed with his iconic creative vision, Walt pulls out all the stops but the uncompromising Travis won't budge. Only when he reaches into his own complicated childhood does Walt discover the truth about the ghost that haunts Travis, and together they set Mary Poppins free. That's Saving Mr. Banks. Mr. Diz. My movies I reviewed today are Saving Mr. Banks, Vampire Academy, Three Days to Kill, Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit, That Awkward Moment, Angel Sing, 
A very Harold and Kumar Christmas. Letters to Juliet. Mermaids. Camprock 2, the final jam. Camp Rock. The lucky one. Sister Act. Sister Act 2, back in the habit. The, ups, the, up, the upside of anger. The five year engagement. Our idiot brother. I love you, man. That's my boy. Mr. Popper's Penguins. Starstruck. Now my Zac Efron movies. Charlie St. Cloud. 17 again. The Lorax. High School Musical 3 is in your year. High School Musical. High School Musical 2. Diary of Wimpy Kid. 88 minutes. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. The Paper Boy. And Hairspray. That's all my movies for today. That's all. Bye!